So we have one of your favorites. We uh, introduced you to their animal statuary uh, with the illuminated succulents. And this year we're bringing them back mm -hmm. with some new critters for you. But just know that this is the only order of the year. So what we have is what we have. That's true. Once they walk out of here, they're not coming back. So let me introduce you to Nancy Brandmuller. She brings us some really great ideas from Plow and Hearth and for our outdoor living spaces. All right, so these Nancy, I'm looking at the video. Yes. Super adorable. I know, aren't these great? <laughs> so, I love anything critter. I, you know, I do too. I really am an animal fan. And nobody does great animals like Plow and Hearth. Plow and Hearth is that company out of Madison, Virginia, that bring you those things in your garden that are going to make you smile. They want to help <laughs> you create a special place in your garden and give you something easy to decorate with. And these really fill the bill because they're statuary as well as the plants. You know, they're the faux a succulents here, but it's something you don't have to water or anything, but you get that look of plants. Okay. Well, let's go through our choices. Sure. So we'll start down we'll start by down you. here. Uh -huh. Here's Mr. Frog, and you saw, just saw me put my hand on him and, and cover he the lit solar up. panel, so he lit up. That's why he's lighting, lit up right now. And then, we oh, look at that cute little face. Oh my goodness. I will try to show you faces because here's our um, porcupine. Oh, hedgehog. I think we're calling yes. it a hedgehog. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Well, my kids would get a In kick out of that. In love with that little face. <laughs> Next to him, the duck. So, <laughs> so he's the only one that's colored. Exactly. Like the rest mm -hmm. look like they're more like carved granite or something. But this is oh, look oh. at the eyes. Plow Earth does such a beautiful it's job. So realistic. With faces. Mm -hmm. It really is. And really, take a look at the eyes. That's what's amazing. And then we have our little snail guy, <laughs> right, carrying his home on his back, so a symbol of protection and feeling safe. And there's that darling little snail. Next to that, oh, a little happy bunny. And bunny, I understand, was very popular yes. last year. And so it's back. Exactly. But this is the only order. Look oh, look at that soft, gentle face. face. And then the little lop ears just curled at the bottom. So cute. Each one comes with their succulents. And then, you know, you've barely even seen the LED lights embedded in there. Yes. But you'll see them when they turn on. And then little Mr. Turtle. Cute little, look at, he's even <laughs> smiling. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Turtle. Aww. All right, so we're going to bring the lights down because yeah. that's the other element. As you said, they're illuminated. Exactly. So, so it, they come to life when the sun goes down. They sure do. Because okay. of that solar panel that's on the back, you've got something that's charging during the day. And look at the colors. You can actually really see the colors beautifully, even in when they're just illuminated at night. So this is something that you're going to enjoy during the day. I like having them on like steps, like right there, mm -hmm. so that as you're walking up and down your stairs, you can see where those stairs are and that you can um, you know, see something really fun during your, uh, the evening time. Maybe you're walking the dog, maybe you're having an evening party once the weather warms up, certainly probably not right now, but you have something out there in your garden tucked into your regular plants, into your uh, container gardens, and you have something that's darling during the day, but then that extra surprise that they light up at night. Well, you know, I think about my parents' house and my mom, she had a little critter statuary at uh -huh. the front door, and I don't know why, it just always made me smile, and it was just added a little personality. It was the only thing she had like that really? around the entire house, oh, so nice. but it just says a little bit about the homeowner, right? right. And that created a memory for you, mm -hmm. as well as people probably coming up to your home, they always knew going up to her home, uh, they were gonna be greeted by that mm -hmm. darling piece of statuary. And this can serve the same purpose, you have something that's really charming and adorable is going to withstand the weather so when you put this you when you get this home right now I suggest find that place and start enjoying it right now so the winter weather won't it's be a problem hurt it. yeah exactly okay. it may affect how long it's going to stay lit because the Sun doesn't stay bright mm -hmm. as long as it does in the summertime sure. so it's not going to quite get the charge as it will later in the year but right now it is going to get a charge in fact I'll show you that solar panel on this guy right now since you're looking at it mm -hmm. there it is it's not even very big the solar panel is going to get some of the Sun and I'm gonna turn it the other way too because I want you to see that underneath there is a button and all you have to do is just press that button once that's the equivalent of taking that tab out when you have something oh, that comes mm -hmm, with batteries that. it just activates it so that once you press that button and set it out where you're going to put it it's going to start charging and it'll light up for you every night well this might be one of your few opportunities to pick up our little critters this is the only order of mm -hmm. the season mm -hmm. most of these average about a foot long mm -hmm. um, so they are nice sizable but not heavy this is easy no. if i want to change my mind and put my Absolutely. snail somewhere else 
front door today, maybe by the patio tomorrow. That's right. Or if you have flowers that you're going to put it where your sun patients are and then all of a sudden they get kind of really big and, and it's hiding your little duck, you can go ahead and move him to a different location. So each one of them has their own personality. Oh, you're coming up to the little hedgehog. How about if I show you his cute little face? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I don't know if you've heard, but there's a hedgehog movie coming out. So is my kids really? are all about it. Oh So my I think goodness. the hedgehog is on the come up again. And this, <laughs> when they look this cute? Yeah, for exactly. For sure. So yeah. I like that you have that kind of statue, that, you know, mm -hmm, I'll turn it around. kind of cut stone look. Exactly. But then you have the pop with the color of the succulents. So this is really a nice way to add a little sizzle, a little spice to your yard right now where everything is pretty much cut back and, it, yeah, and brown it's, or you it's know, kind of dead. sleeping. Yes, That's what yes. I like to say, it's mm -hmm. sleeping. And you're getting color right now. So, you know, yep. you put this outside, if you wouldn't be putting real succulents outside, at least in most parts of the country, because they wouldn't survive That's the cold cool. temperatures. But you've got something that's so pretty. Look at all those gorgeous colors. The By the blue, way, the orange. This duck? Yes. That's new this year, right? It is. Yep. You're right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And the only one that is the lighter color. The rest of them look like they're carved granite or some kind of stone. This one has that lighter tone to it. Well, Nancy, many of our friends are picking up more than one. So are they? So we go through the choices because yes. maybe you want to make a little menagerie. I agree. Of all your animal friends. So turtle, also very popular. Okay. All right. So we're going to put the lights back up so you can really appreciate these cute, detailed faces. And uh, that way you can make your decision because only $10.38 on Easy Pay to bring it home. All right. right. Shall we start with Mr. Yes. Frog? Yes. So here we have our frog choice. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> I, can't help I do it. not know what a, a hedgehog says, but he'll say hello to you. Here's our darling little hedgehog. Just the cutest face. I know. So cute. And then the duck in the center. This is our new one this year. There you go. And then snail next to that. And then rabbit with the lop ears. Hello, little And bit. then on the very end, our little a turtle. turtle. But remember, slow Winning and steady race. wins the race. That's right. <laughs> Look, we do. I know we like alike. <laughs> uh, you're going to be back, though. Yeah. Can I show you what yeah. Nancy's going to be back with? So pretty. Come over here. Take a look. I'll yeah, see you in a minute. I'll see you a bit. So take a look back here. Sorry, Devin. I'm about to cut That's you off. Right. Uh, take a look. Is this our? This is our spinner from Plow and Hearth. We have a new spinner to debut. The colors are fantastic. Um, so we'll give you the info. So here is our center swirl spinner. M65320, five easy payments of $14.99. All right, but gave you a little sneak peek earlier what we have coming from Roberta's. So we have two offerings. Up first, our calla lilies. So this three-piece jumbo 